Are we, is Jada coming? I don't know. Is Jada coming? Okay. We'll go ahead and get started. It's a pleasure to introduce uh, Louisville head coach, Jeff Walls. Uh, he's lying. I'm She's lying. lying. It's we, not a pleasure. We will be joined by bold face lie. We will God be joined almighty. by student athlete uh, Jada Curry here in a moment. Up. Oh, I'm here. Sorry. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yep. uh, coach, when you're ready, we'll take an opening statement and then we'll entertain questions. Yeah. Now, first, I, as I always like to do, I'd like to c c congratulate Neil in in, in Notre Dame. Uh, I, th I I thought they played a really really good ball game. A really good first half. Really gave us fits, and we did not respond well in that first half, especially at the offensive end. We looked, uh, we looked anemic at times. It, 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 it was really, really poor. Um, and then I thought our, our energy le 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 level really picked up in the, the second half. I thought we competed, I thought we fought. Uh, you know, un unfortunately fell a, a, a little bit short, but I was proud of how we competed there in that second half. But unfortunately, you have to play a whole game. You, you can't play halves. And that's what we've done a lot this past month is we, we played halves of games. And I, I'm not in it for moral victory to make you feel good. It's a, it's a loss. And we've got to get tougher. We've, we have to be able to fight. And I thought we showed that in the second half, but first half was not very good. Again, if you have a question, please let us know. Um, I'll suggest that anybody on Zoom, if you've got a question, please use the raise hand feature. We'll pause for a second. Start right down here on our left in the second row. Marissa says, Hoops, that's just real quick. Um, Jeff, you kind of mentioned there's been a pattern of only playing halves so far. How do you kind of fix that? You had a, more turnovers than made field goals for a while. How do you fix that going into the next stage of NCAA tournament? No, I mean, I, it, it, it's impressive. I mean, it's, it's not easy to turn the ball over more than you make a field goal. Uh, you know, I, it's, we work on it in practice. If you don't give a shit, then it's hard. I mean, we think of new ways to turn the ball over. I mean, we've turned the ball over five straight games on an inbounds pass after a made basket. It's really, it's special. I've never had a group. It's, and I, I mean, like, how, how do you practice that? You know, like, okay, basket's made. When you take it out, look before you pass it and then throw it to your team. I don't know how else to practice it. And we somehow still figure out a way to do it. They have to care. Players have to care as well. You know, they have to own, they have own, um, ownership as well as coaches do. And believe me, it's my job to, to get it fixed, but I can't play for it. I can't pass fake. I can't ball fake. I can't, you know, you can't stare where you want to throw it, then throw it. Good teams are going to step in front and steal it. So until we get to the point where it really matters, see, this, this is where NIL could really improve our game. Because, see, if I could find, like, say, $500 a turnover, I guarantee you we wouldn't turn that damn thing over one time. They'd care. But, see, there, there's, you know, they get all this good stuff. It's all great. But, like, I, let's make it pay for play. The game will get cleaned up, I promise you. Our game will get better. If you pay for play it, it will get better. Because that's really what it is. We, we just can't find them. Because as a player, would you not care more, Jada, if I said, hey, every turnover, baby, it's five, 500 bucks. We're, we're, well, you're out two grand tonight. It's a lot of money, yeah. I mean, it, it, shit, we make money as coaches. Our athletic department would make money off our players. Our NIL would come back to the school. But they, they'd start changing. And that's, they have to care. I mean, that's, that's where we are right now, that we've got to care. The ball has to matter. Every possession matters. And we're going to work for a week and a half on just grinding that in and stealing that into them. Because I, I really, the, the fight we showed in the second half, I think this is a ball club that can still get to the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. And then once you get there, anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's, you know, who's playing the best that, that night and then what crew you got on the game. Anything can happen. So we're ex I'm excited because they showed that fight. I'm going to go right here in the middle. Debbie Stroman, WCHL. Jada, 
You fought, you scrapped, you scored. What can you take from this game going into the playoffs? Um, I think the one thing that our coaches, um, our coaching staff has been preaching to us is we got to put two halves together. Um, we oftentimes have a good first half and then we fall off in the second or vice versa like we did today. So um, I think just in this week and a half that we have before the tournament, we really got to lock in and really understand that like we can show the fight that we had in the second half, in the second half, but we got to show it as soon as we come out, um, as soon as the ball is tipped up. So I think that's a focus for us for sure. Over here on our left. Yep. Steve Phillips, ACC.com, also for Jada. For those of us who have never experienced ourselves, though, tell us what it's like in that fourth quarter where you're kind of like, seem like an almost out of body experience. You could do no wrong. Did you, did you want the ball? Could you just feel it? Take us through. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help my team win. I think we have such a selfless team. Um, at times, it's to a fault. I mean, in that first half, we were passing up a lot of open shots um, and over penetrating. Um, but I think just in the second half, we did a good job of finding each other, moving the ball, um, getting downhill, attacking, drawing fouls. So, and that's the type of basketball that we want to play and we know we can play. Um, so yeah, I just I appreciate my teammates um, and my coaching staff believing in me, and you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. Let's go to uh, folks on Zoom. We'll start with uh, Eric Crawford. Uh, Jeff, I wanted to ask you about that fight uh, that you were talking about. Uh, how important was that second half? I mean, I know you'd rather still play in this tournament, but now you got a week. You're getting ready for the ACC. Just to have that example of this is how you can play when you're intense, urgent, and desperate. Yeah, it, it was really important, Eric. Uh, you know, now, you know, I, I told him in the locker room, if we don't have, have, have a few of them start to compete a little harder, then I know what six I'm playing. And it, it, it's not a, you know, it, it's not a grade school team. It's not my daughter's fourth and fifth grade team where everybody gets to play the same amount of time. You earn your playing time. And if you're not going to compete and play hard, at least be a damn good cheerleader on the bench. Uh, because I'm not putting you in the game. So we, we have a few of them that have about a week and a half to show me that they're, that, that they're going to compete or we'll have a few extra on our cheerleading squad. Take our next from uh, Alexis via Zoom. Questions for Jada. Jada, you and Jeff have both talked about just kind of the inconsistencies. What do you feel like you guys have to do to be able to, to put together two halves? Um, yeah, I think, honestly, it comes down to us as the players, like Walls is talking about, like, they're instilling these things in us in practice when it comes to the turnovers. Like, that's something that we struggle with all year. Um, we just have to value the basketball and really care about it. I feel like going, we just got to really think about that because we see the things that we can do when we when we take care of it, um, when we execute and things of that nature. So um, if we want to go deep in March, we know what we have to do. We just have to have some personal pride, some team pride, and um, just listen to our coaches and really uh, just go with what they're saying. We have another one from T. Griever on Zoom. Come on, Tyler. Tyler. You're on mute. He's never used Zoom before. All right, we're going to pause and give him a minute. We'll go back to Eric Crawford. Uh, yeah, Jeff, he was probably going to ask you something to see if he could get you fired. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to ask, obviously, a couple of calls you disagreed with in the game. Um, there at the end, I guess you're just trying to make a point at that point. But um, do you have any comment on any of that? Well, you know what? I've, I've, I've donated enough to the fund. Um, and, you know, so I, I but I, I will tell you, I, I am looking forward to going back and looking at the pass that went in bounds to see if the girl was out of bounds and threw it in and then the other one stepped, picked it up and stepped out of bounds because uh, if that's what took place and that's what I saw and I, I may be wrong but I, I just need a game to be administered correctly and if you step out of bounds and throw it in bounds it, it, unless the rules change and the, there might be an interp tomorrow that says if you don't mean to take it out of bounds, but you're out of bounds and throw it in, then it's okay for the other player who's in bounds to catch it and then step out of bounds. And maybe there is an interp that I haven't seen. So if that takes place, then I'll apologize. But if she was truly out of bounds and then throws it in bounds, at least at the fourth grade level, they don't let you do that. It might be allowed now, and I'm just, I, I, I didn't read that rule. So I will check on that. 
Um, and, I, and I could be wrong, and if I am, I, I'll apologize for it. But if, if I'm not, I don't expect to hear anything to say that it was, you know, a, a missed call. That's normally not what you get. Go back here in the middle. Jada, I think this is your first ACC tournament. Your thoughts, right. experience? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great environment. Obviously, this is not the outcome we wanted or were shooting for, but um, I'm just excited to move on to get ready for the, uh, the NCAA tournament, something that I haven't been a part of yet either. So um, I'm just excited to be doing it with this staff and uh, this team. I feel like we're going to figure this out and, you know, we're going to go deep in the tournament. So it was a good experience for sure. All right, Coach, Jada, thank you. Good luck in the NCAA thank tournament. You. Thank you so much.